coming off a 3-1 to one victory over Huntington on Saturday, securing a spot in the uh, MCC tournament. Just kind of talk about Saturday's uh, matchup and, it, you know, clinching that spot in the playoffs. Well, I was so proud of my guys. They came out and played really well. My seniors showed great leadership, and that, that's what was the difference in the game. Owen Jones and John Krempel just anchored the back, and Matt Vesessen uh, just came in the midfield and just played so hard, and Jake as well coming off Jake Brady out for his injury. You know, that i just proud of the way they played, and uh, it just makes it going into this game just really sweet for them. When you talk about the play of the seniors last Saturday, today is the last day you're going to see the seniors on their home field. Just kind of talk about that in your 13th year. What's it like in these games when you know you're not going to have these guys next year? Well, it's, it's, to me it's very emotional because these guys come out and they just, for four years, they've given me everything. You know, they work hard. They're great students. They do such a super job. And uh, so for me, it, it's just, it's hard. And this is the hardest part of the job is saying goodbye to these guys. But the nice thing is, I'm saying goodbye to players, but I'm saying hello to my new friends. So that's that's the good part of it. Well, Coach, uh, this matchup's against Mary Grove College. What do you know about this team? Well, I know they're technically very strong. They come from a good part in Detroit where a lot of good soccer players. It's going to be a good challenge for us, but it'll be nice for my seniors to get to play one last game without it being uh, a playoff berth on the line like it was on Saturday. So from that standpoint, I think that would be a great challenge for us. They're a very solid team. Beautiful pass and an even better shot by number eight, Jason Walcott. Unbelievable play by St. Francis as they get their third goal of the match. Goal. I'd rather be up three to one playing bad than to be up losing three to one playing great. <laughs> but I still, I don't think we played quite our style. We tried to play a little bit more direct and that's not our style. Coach Owen Jones had a really nice first half defensively for you. Looked like a little bit of miscommunication on the goal, uh, goal by Mary Grove. Yeah, I think our goalkeeper is only a freshman. He sometimes he makes freshman mistakes, and that was his mistake. He came running out, and the guy just chipped it over his head into the goal. He should have stayed back and let our defense. Owen had a great angle on the guy, and the guy wasn't going to get a he wasn't going to get a chance to score, you know, especially if Trezor's back on his line. So that's what he's got to do. Coach, uh, two minutes, 45 seconds until the second half. What can we expect to see in the second half from St. Francis? Well, I hope we see a lot better um, possession on our part. And instead of scoring goals off of breakaways, scoring goals off of things that we create, we get a, like one and two touch passes, get in behind, and then quick, quick, you know, strikes or just guys kicking the ball into the open net. If you see that, you'll know it's working. Nice little juke move and nothing but the back of the net. Andy McGuire, freshman defender out of Bishop Dwanger High School, Fort Wayne, Indiana. He gets the seventh goal of the match. With one of the seniors, two goals scored on the day. This is Jake Brady and Brady. It's a senior day. How nice was it to get two goals? Oh, it was really nice. Nice way to get my last game in at St. Francis and nice way to finish my career here. So. This kind of takes us to that seven goals scored on the, the day. What was it like in this match? Uh, it was crazy. I don't think we've scored seven goals since I've been here except for today. So kind of didn't know what to expect coming into the game and then scoring seven goals was really nice. So going into playoffs Saturday against Bethel, it's going to motivate us a lot. So Three game win streak heading into the conference tournament as well. Do you feel like the Cougars are playing their best soccer this season? Yeah, I think we are. I mean, we had a three game win streak earlier and kind of fell apart after that, but I think we were just trying to play a different way than what we should have. So playing the way we are now, I think we're looking good for conference. Jason, uh, two goals in this matchup, but probably the prettiest one was the feed you had. I believe it was over to Mitchell Holloway. I think that was the sixth goal of the uh, the match. Just kind of take us through that. Uh, well, like I uh, knew everybody was crashing up, and then I saw Mitchell, so I decided that it was the best opportunity. I Probably could have had a chance to take it myself, but Mitchell was wide open, so I mean, you can't really mess that up. So I thought I'd just give it to Mitchell. Talking, talking to Coach at halftime, he said, uh, you know, the first three goals in the first half were fast break ones, and he was looking for some placement. Uh, pretty much exactly like what happened with that goal where you found Holloway. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess you can't really ask for anything better. I mean, if we, uh, it's how our style of play goes. We try to look for the combination plays, and that's how it start, all started at about half field with me, Al, and Mitchell. And then from there, it just kept going and built up until Mitchell's nice finish he had in the top corner. 
seven to one dominant performance over here against Mary Grove heading into the postseason. Uh, how nice was it to get this this win for the team? Uh, I mean, I'm happy for them. I mean, we couldn't been, we wouldn't be here where we are right now without them. So I mean, it's, I'm glad that they get to go out with this kind of a win, and I hope that we can just take this momentum into our next game on Saturday against Bethel. Three game win streak heading into the conference tournament. Where do you feel like this team is uh, compared to the rest of the season? Do you feel like we're playing our best soccer? I feel like this past week we've been really playing our, our one of our top levels of soccer that we played all year. I mean, we had a few games back in the regular season where we had a streak of games where we played really well, but I don't know. I think this might even be better yet, and hopefully we can just keep carrying it on. I mean, you never know what's going to happen next. Most of our goals is half worked that way. It was 1-2 and then a, a little through ball, but the through ball came from combination play, like a 1-2 or a give and go is use of basketball, you know? And so, um, like Jake Brady scored a nice goal where the ball came in, came back, he made his run, it went through. And he was right at the top of the 18 when the ball, that's what I was telling you at halftime. I said, you know, when we get those easy goals, that's what makes us a dangerous team. So that was good. It's been a while since we scored seven goals in this program. So. <laughs> Three game win streak. I got to believe that that gives you a little bit of momentum. I think so. I think people are still overlooking us. You know, we, we have results that you would just say aren't very good, but that's what happens when you have a young team. And I told my freshmen, you guys are no longer freshmen. You know, you've played a whole season under your belt. And uh, the thing that I think helps us is our last three conference games were all like playoff games. We had to play. And uh, so I think my young guys now are starting to understand that the level of play, and I think, you know, Mary Grove just knocked off Madonna the other day. Madonna's a, a really good team. And so I'm just kind of shocked that we <laughs> kind of took it to them. So, easily I guess. Coach when you're talking about the freshman the play of Jason Walcott today with two goals and the be beautiful feed that we had spoke about before um, seems like the freshmen are really maturing certainly saw some of that today. Yeah uh, Jason especially the last half of the season is really starting to understand we switched his position and uh, he was playing like a central mid for us and what we did was we moved him to uh, a more of our attacking mid and when we did that he all of a sudden was touching the ball more, and you see good things happening when he has the ball. So goals, he has seven goals now. He probably has close to seven assists. He He's had a really tremendous freshman year. That's pretty good. Well, the, the men's soccer program with a lot of momentum heading into the Mid-Central Conference Tournament, was there anything else you wanted to add, Coach? Uh, I'm just proud of the, the leadership of my seniors. You know, for, for those guys to come out, you know, normally – it, it seems like when you're in a senior game, you always lose because you know, uh, the guys kind of come into it all emotional. And, and today we seem to to pull it together. And so from that standpoint, oh, I just feel a great amount of relief. <laughs> well, congratulations, Coach, on the 7-1 to victory. Cougars with a lot of momentum heading into the Mid-Central Conference Tournament. 7-1 to here on Senior Day.